Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video I'm going to be guiding you on how to get access to OpenGL 4.1 on Ubuntu 15.10. Now this video will be useful to you if you meet the following criteria. Number one, you're an AMD graphics card user. Number two, you're running the open source graphics drivers, which is called Mesa. And number three, you're running a HD 7000 series or newer graphics card. A big thank you to Paulo Miguel Diaz for making this possible. So the first thing we should do is open up a terminal. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the OpenGL version that we currently have access to on Ubuntu 15.10. So go ahead and type in sudo apt get install mesa dash utils. Go ahead and enter your password. All right, so it's finished installing. Now I'm going to go ahead and type in glx info space that funny line space grep space core. So this will give us the information that we're looking for. And as you can see, by default, I only have access to OpenGL 3.3. We're going to fix that by adding the cool PPA that Paulo has set up for us. So I'm going to just go ahead and type clear here. So that should clear up the terminal. Now we're going to add his PPA. So we're going to do that by doing sudo space add dash apt dash repository. Type PPA and then these two dots, which I always forget what they're called. Paulo dash Miguel dash Diaz slash Mesa. Go ahead and hit enter. It may ask you to hit enter again. We're going to agree to that. All right, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to close the terminal now. And then I'm going to head to the software updater here. If you don't see this, you can always search for it in the Ubuntu dash. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the software updater. Alright, so my updater has said it's failed to find information, but that's okay. It does this every once in a while. Just go ahead, click OK if it does do this to you. It should still pop up with the stuff that it needs to install, like we see here. This is the kind of stuff that you want to see here. So we're going to go ahead and install this stuff. If it asks for your password, go ahead and type it in. Okie dokes, so it's finished updating. Now all we need to do is go ahead and restart. Ubuntu. Alright, so we're done with starting. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal. I'm going to zoom in onto this. And we're going to check whether or not we have upgraded our OpenGL support. So I'm going to type in glx info space that funny line above the enter key grep space core. I'm going to hit enter. And what you're going to see here is that we have successfully gotten OpenGL 4.1 support. We're not exactly done yet. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. By default, the driver puts everything at vSync, meaning system-wide games or whatnot, everything's stuck at 60 frames per second, which isn't exactly great. Many times we would like the FPS to go above 60. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Ubuntu Software Center and we're going to install what's called DRI Conf, this first program right here. All right, they call it 3D acceleration, but it's really DRI Conf. I'm going to hit install. It's going to ask me for my password. I'm going to enter it. Give it a couple of seconds to install. Okay, good. Now we're not actually going to open that program just yet. I'm going to go to my home folder. And before I scroll down, I have under view, I have show hidden files ticked. All right. So if you can't find this in the menu for whatever reason, you can simply hit control H to show hidden folders. So I'm going to scroll down 
and we're looking for a file called DRIRC. This guy right here. Let me zoom in onto that. Dot DRIRC. Okay, and I'm going to open this in a text editor. So in this file, we're going to see a whole bunch of text and it looks confusing at first. Don't worry, we're not going to be going through this. I just want you to scroll down to the bottom. Now right after this section that says device here, but right before this last section, we want to insert some text here. So I'm going ahead and copied and paste this section right here. I'm going to zoom in onto this. It's provided for you in the description at the bottom of this video. Just go ahead and copy paste this into the text file. What this does is disables vSync. As we see here, vBlank mode, we're setting it to zero so we can soar above 60 frames per second. So I'm going to hit Control S and I'm going to save that file. Now we can close this. And a good test to be sure that I have the driver up and working is to open up Bioshock Infinite, which is not possible without OpenGL 4 support. Let me skip, skip this intro, skip again, skip again. The beginning main menu scene is 3D, so we should be able to see that rendering just fine. I do still expect slowdowns in performance though. Performance is a completely different matter and it's up to AMD to fix that out. So as you can see, it does work. OpenGL 4 support is there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's say that the PPA did not work out for you or that you simply want to return to the stock Mesa that's installed in Ubuntu 15.10. Don't worry, we can do that pretty easy with something called PPA Purge. Go ahead and open up a terminal and let's install a program called PPA Purge. So I'm going to go ahead and type in sudo space apt dash get space install PPA uh, dash purge. All right, so I already have this installed, but I'm just going to showcase how we get it done here. Now that that's done, if we were to remove that PPA we just installed and return to stock configurations, we would simply type in sudo PPA dash purge and then the name of that PPA. You can do this for anything actually, it's really good. PPA, those two dots, Paulo Miguel Diaz slash Mesa. You'd hit enter and it would go ahead and uninstall everything for you. After that's done, you would restart and you would be back with the default configuration. That's it for this quick video guide. I hope it helped you get OpenGL 4 support on your open source AMD drivers and thank you for watching.